guys it's your boy dyadic here and i'm back once again with another video for you this time i want to show you how you can make a drop out of one loop impossible this is a technique that i've been using for a while and i gotta say that it really helps spark new ideas and it can help you explore concepts if you're struggling with coming up with song ideas or songwriting so yeah i'm hoping this video helps you so let's get started all right so what i'm gonna do here first of all is of course grab one loop this could be anything really just make sure that it has some sort of melody or chords or something that can help us you know build the concept that we want to build so that one is a cool one that is pretty good that that actually the mr carmack loop this one this one is really really good for what we want to do so i'm gonna take this one and we are going to use fl studios tool to get the course out of this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into edison drag and drop the sample that you want to use and we're gonna go right click tools convert to score and dump to piano roll so we're gonna do that and now this thing is gonna try its best to get the chords for us are you sure about that and sometimes as you can see it totally fails and <laughs> does not do what we ask him to do sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so we're gonna have to do it by ear it looks like so so we finally have the chords pretty cool and you might be asking dyadic why are you spending all that time just putting the chords in fl instead of just using the loop it's a piano and you're making the chords in a piano you basically did all that for nothing well it's kind of uncreative to just drag and drop the loop and start working on that and actually if you want to just use the loop there's nothing wrong but i feel like if you use the actual chords you can you know add your own flair to them you know make it more unique if that makes sense so now it's time to change the synth i don't want to use a piano for this i want to use something a little bit more unique so i'm gonna do keys there's one key that i like that is pretty sick i like that one um i don't like this key in particular so i'm gonna drop it so it goes all the way to let's go to e e e e e e e and you might be wondering dyadic you said you were gonna help us make a drop this is not sounding like a drop this is just some basic chords with a synth well bear with me because we are about to make this a drop worth idea Okay, we're gonna start with some classic old corrosion okay corrosion to add some crisp to the sound i like that so after that we're gonna of course add some ott because we cannot live without ott well how that sounding okay all right so i want to add more crunch to this even more crunch so what i'm gonna do is gonna go to thermal and I can hear all that white noise of the of the OTT already, so I'm gonna just turn it off for now. I'm gonna add thermal, and I'm gonna go with bass. And there's one preset here that I love. I recommend you guys to use this preset a lot because it crunches the sound in a really delicious way. So I'm gonna go to drive like this, and then sub like this. It makes it sound distorted and all more emotional you know if that makes any sense 
so this is still sounding like a pretty ordinary you know but the storage is course let's go to the magic in here so for that we're gonna use infiltrator we need this to be messed up enough so it automatically gives us ideas for a drop i have an edited version of a preset called filter madness so with infiltrator all of the effects are pretty hardcore like they're insanely exaggerated they're like really harsh so what you gotta do if you want to get the most out of infiltrator is make your own presets listen to how this preset sounds without any of the edits that i that i've done to it this is the raw original preset pretty pretty savage so what we're gonna do is gonna take my preset that i'm gonna leave for you guys in the description of the video so you can uh, use their same preset it's the same preset but i edited to make it less of a ear raping patch to the sound and that is called spec ups from the company unfiltered audio this plugin is one of my absolute favorite spectral plugins it has so many effects but there's one in particular one preset that's called octave up i think octave up mix this one is so sick listen to how this sounds like with um the infiltrator and all the effects applied that is exactly that abstract texture that i was talking about so after that, I want to change the order of the effects because that usually affects the sound a lot. So I want to have a thermal at the end, crunch at the very, very end. I want to have infiltrator after the white noise and I want to process and or compressed infiltrator. So this is what it's going to sound like. So what do we get if when we add all these effects? Processing the sound with distortion and spectral effects so we can get a really complex or like not basic uh, sounding chord pattern. And with that, we get uh, like, like artifacts and, um, you know, bits and pieces of the sound that we can use for bases or reprocess more. So that's what we're looking for with this technique. And we got it. Let's get started with the actual drop. First thing we need, drums. And you already know where I'm gonna get those drums from. Again, Sample Pack Volume 2 that comes out this month. Late May, be ready because the Sample Pack will have 30 discount codes. So if you are not amongst the first 30 people to buy the pack, you're gonna miss the discount, which is gonna be pretty good. We go and we grab some drums, okay? I like this one. Listen to that crispy snare snare i'm gonna go with the classic boom cap boom some transient shapers some clipping classic stuff you know how this works we got a solid drum uh, beat that we can work with so let's play the chords again and let's see what immediately comes to our head you know of ideas that we and how can we use this that is like a really really solid uh song idea right there and that is using the default course what happens if we edit this course a little bit let's take out the processing All right, that is sick. Just added like a couple extra notes in there to spice it up a little bit more. And maybe... Move it one note down. So let's see how that sounds like. That is pretty sick. Let's bounce this to audio. Let's make a, let's make a drop out of this, okay? Okay, so let's add sub bass to this. Let's 
So what I'm doing right now is trying to find the little artifacts that I was telling you. So that way I can start like, you know, shaping this a little bit more, making it a little bit more unique rather than having only the quartz, which is pretty cool already. But like, I want to take it further, you know? All right, this is pretty sick. This is pretty good. So I'm going to try and add some vocals to this because it's asking for it, you know, like it's it's asking for some vocals. Baby, won't you come a little closer? Perfect for what we need. Woo. Perfection. Baby, so let's process them. So let's let's do something with these vocals. It's making compliment, but which is the then yep. Dun, 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 dun. I need a fill right here. Boom, 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 boom. Nope. So we almost got the phrase ready for this. Let's add a little bit of mix into this. You can't deny that that is kind of a banger right there. And only using one loop that we saw there in FL Studio. So this is kind of insane. If you add some basis to this, let's try adding some sound design, like just for the purpose of the video, you know, let's try to find something sick here. Let's add the final touches to this. Some background effects as well. You guys are gonna absolutely love this back. All right, so let's listen to what the original um, loop that we chose sounds like, and then let's hear the drop that we made, okay? This is what we started with. Pretty good and this this is a uh, proof that everything you need to cook to make a sick drop it's not in here in your pc it's actually in here depends on how creative you are with the tools that you got that's why i always say don't be afraid of messing up the sound you never know what might happen so all right without further ado this is this is what we made using one loop Well, I would say that it's pretty freaking sick to be made out of one piano loop that we found. Imagine if you told someone, hey, I made this out of a piano loop. What the heck? How the heck did you do it? So yeah, like imagine if you spend more time on it. And this is a technique that I've been using for 
a long time i've been doing this when i'm like out of ideas i don't know what to do i just take one loop that i can find in my sample library take the loop extract the chords mess around with the chords change them maybe make a melody process the heck out of that find something that i can exploit all of a sudden you haven't realized and you have an insane drop that you can work on and you know do more stuff of course i'm not gonna sound design all of the bases you know these beats that we added that is just an example of how you can complement it with your own sound design but like the main the main source of all of this is just this thing that we made using the piano loop which is to me is crazy like this is this is this is the track you know and that is crazy to me it's the thing that we can make something like that just with one piano loop so let me know what you guys think in the comments if you like the video make sure to like it if you aren't subscribed make sure to subscribe because i'm going to be posting a lot more content and shorts and and let me know what you guys think of this technique um are you going to use it you think it's going to help you spark some ideas i hope it does because for me it it, it works 100 of the time you know so i guess i'll catch you guys later take care <laughs>